the if formula is a very versatile formula. And if you're going to be using Smartsheet, especially using any types of formulas, this should be in your arsenal. And don't worry, I'll take you by the hand step by step and show you exactly how to use it. You can also use the if formula inside of itself. This is a very, very useful formula. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. Today, as we cover the IF formula, if you're a little nervous about trying to figure out how to use this formula, no worries, I'm gonna take you by the hand, step by step. You may be asking Justin, is this formula really necessary for me to know? And if you wanna grow in your Smartsheet practice or any project management for that matter that uses any type of spreadsheets, you do. This has to be in your arsenal. And it's very easy to use. And as you grow, you're going to learn that you can actually use this if formula connected to other formulas or nested, as we say, in other formulas. All right. Without further ado, let's dive in. All right. Let's go ahead and start with the if formula. And what I'm going to do here is I have some dummy data in here in the gray, the gray columns here. And this is the data that we're going to utilize. And in the white columns here, I'm going to utilize, I'm going to create a few different if formulas, one for each one of these columns. All right, so we're going to start with a, the most simple version of an if formula, and that is a true or false statement. So think of it like a light switch, either it's on or it's off. It can only be one or the other. Um, so we're going to use a checkbox for that one. So I have a, the property here, if I double click on the column, is checkbox. I'll make sure it's a checkbox. I'm going to give it that name. Click OK. And what we're going to do is we're just going to double click into the cell. We're going to, on the keyboard, we're going to do the equal sign. Just start typing in the word if. Pops up right here. And let's say we want to check the box. We want this box and this column to be checked if the date is in the future. So today is uh, May 29th. The morning of May 29th so that's that's actually today right here and so we want the box to be checked if this date is in the future so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like we did type in word if and then we're gonna click on the date in the same row right over here date at row just clicked on it and then we're gonna do if this do greater than and we're gonna literally type in the word today Today is actually a formula, believe it or not. That will be in another episode. So we'll just click on today. And what we're going to do is we're going to close the parentheses here. And then, so that's a logical expression. If the date at the row is greater than today, so argument, that's our logical expression. So the next thing we're going to work on is if this is true, what the value is going to be if this is true. So we're just going to put a comma. See how it went from the logical expression to value of true is now highlighted. So we're going to do a comma, and we're just going to do the word true. If I do comma again, now we're working on the false. If it's false, we want it to be false. I'm going to click enter. And we know that February is in the past. It is not in the future. And if I click into this cell, and then right click into it and click convert to column formula that's going to run my formula all the way down the entire column automatically for me so we can see here that july and august come after may 29th because july and august are in the future and that's why these boxes are checked all right to simplify it for you guys i'm going to go to edit column formula you don't actually have to do true or false because this is a checkbox you can literally do ones and zeros so one for true and zero for false. That's how I do it when I work in this every day. Same thing. All right, so that's that formula for if it's true, if it's false, very simple. Next, this is a fun one. Let's do a text one. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them, 
and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. So let's go ahead and let's do equal sign and I type in the word if, click enter. All right, let's say if the name column here in this row equals We'll say the name Barry. So if we're going to do a name, we have to put we have to put it in quotations. So let's do quotation mark. So let's do Barry, and we'll close it in with quotation. So if the name equals Barry, then if it's true, then we want it to say this PM is the best. We'll close it in. Quotation. So we got Barry in quotation, and we got this phrase in quotation. All right, so we'll do a comma. Now we'll work on the false. If value is false, then we'll say just an OK PM. Close in quotation. So as you're seeing here in text, you have to have it inside quotations. Open and close in quotation. All right, let's click enter. Look at that. So let's can right click into the cell and let's go down and let's click on let me zoom out here a little bit. Let's do convert to column formula. Boom, look at that. So just okay, just okay. Oh, this beam is best, this beam is best because each one is buried. As you can see here, obviously you can put whatever you want in the quotation, that's how it will appear. Now the final one we're going to do is we're going to do an if formula nested inside an if formula. That's right, a formula inside a formula. Now you're like, all right, Justin, I don't need to know this. This, this sounds crazy. I promise you, it's super easy to use. I'll take it by the hand step by step. It's really easy to put in, and this is a phenomenal formula to use. Um, I use this formula uh, almost weekly. Um, anytime I'm working with like a status or a symbol. So we're going to use this as like a status symbol. We'll do red is late, yellow is in progress, green is complete, and gray is not started. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and clear, equal sign, we'll do if. So we'll say, let's click on the cell here in the same row. If the symbol equals, and we have to be in quotation, green, The true value. So if it's green, then we want it to say in quotation complete. Comma. But if it's false, in the false value here, it's gonna have to be something um, other than green. But we have multiple options. So just and I'm stuck here. I only have one false option. So this is where you put a nested formula, a nested if formula inside an if formula. So what we're going to do here is for the value, if it's false, we're actually going to put in a new formula. Just start typing in the word if. And we're going to do it again. We're going to click on the same cell right here for symbol. So if symbol at row, we'll do the next color equals yellow. In quotation. So if the symbol at yellow, if the symbol is yellow, then the true statement is going to be in quotation in progress. All right, comma, if the value is false, I'm going to do the if formula again. If symbol at row equals red, comma, the value if it's red is going to be in quotation late. All right, we'll do the last color here, which is gray. So we'll do a comma, if its value is false, if symbol at row equals gray. Now, just so you know, heads up, Smartsheet says that gray is spelled G-R-A-Y. So if you're doing this formula and you put in G-R-E-Y and you're like, hey, how come this isn't working? It's because it doesn't think that gray is spelled with an E. It thinks it's spelled with an A. So that's why. All right, symbol at row equals gray. If it's true, then we're going to say, in quotation, not started. 
And if it's false, well, we'll just do a open and close uh, quotations, which means the cell will be blank. So that's the formula. So let's go and click enter. So first one here, red, it's late. But if I convert this, right click into the cell and click convert to column formula, there it runs right there. So what's nice about these column formulas, so if you take one of these and you just drag this data down, as you can see here, the data in the white, the formulas in the white automatically populate. If I change this to Susan, changes the data right here, so on and so forth. So that is a um, if formula used in a few different scenarios. Hope this was helpful. As always, take care and God bless.